We are uh, going for a hike. I'm with my friend, Mr. Uh, Futami. We are our co-workers together at the same school. And I'm in his uh, hometown here in Okabe, Japan. And we're going to take a hike to, uh, what's the place called? Uh, Big Gurishi? <laughs> How do you call it? <laughs> uh, what's, the, uh, what's the place called? The rock? Big Gurishi? Big Kuishi. Big Kuishi. Big Kuishi. What does that mean? Uh, that means surprising and the big stone. Big stone and surprise from the Omoteishi. Hmm. Hotokeishi. <laughs> Hotoke sama no stone. Hmm. E, Kuroishi. Black stone. Hi. E, Akaishi. Red stone. Sannoishi. Nanda. Three stones. Hokoishi. Musubiishi. <laughs> Namekujiishi. Komoriishi. Many, many kinds of stones. Wow. There's, this is an, an interesting trail. Many things yeah. to see. Osoraku, the final stone is a big issue. <laughs> I see it up there at the top. Hi. There it is, next to Jizo-san. Yeah. All right, I can see Fuji-san. Is that Fuji-san in the background? What about Ojizo-san desu ka? Ojizo-san dewa Here's our first wildlife encounter of the day. A small land crab out for a hike just like us. Some lovely old houses along the way. It's really fun hiking along these old trails and these old small roads. You can see some very beautiful little villages and towns and as well as nature. Next to the road here, by this carport, Mr. Futami has discovered a uh, small... Ah, oh, yes, yes. A small graveside site. There's another crab going into the grave. And you can see the grave headstones here. These are, these are very old. Don't you think these are maybe Meiji Jidai? Furui I'm not sure. Wow, just another one of the things you can see walking along the roads in Japan. Well, just by this uh, tea field, we've come to the place where the uh, road ends and the trail begins. Teerai Ishi. Washing your hands. How do you feel? Ah, oh, it's very nice. Oh, good. Very cool. Good. How do you Ah, frog. Uh, ah, the we have same a... color as leaf. Yes, a beautiful frog. This is third. Third. This is the third stone. <laughs> and the fourth stone. Ah, this is on a, a, a Jizo a statue, a Bodhisattva of travelers. So a, uh, a priest apparently died here long ago, and uh, this uh, particular Jizo statue marks the uh, uh, spot of his passing, and the stone is uh, uh, named after that incident. Rice ball. Yes. Oh, and musubi. Uh, rice ball. Yes. Almost to be. Almost to be. Ah. So this particular. It does look like a rice ball. You're right. All the people ate lunch here. Ah, the slug stone. Indeed, it certainly does look like a slug. The shape of the sun. Right. My wife will love that one. Megane? Ah, Megane, glasses. Glasses. Oh, indeed, it does look like glasses. Megane Ishi. Yeah, it sure does look like glasses with sweat coming between the brow. Heavy Ichigo. Heavy Ichigo. Snake berry. Snake strawberry. Ichigo is strawberry, right? So, so right. snake Maybe strawberry. Strawberry. Can you eat it? Kuromo toki tabera tabera koto aru? <laughs> you probably did. I asked him if he ate them when he was a child, but he doesn't remember. I ate everything that looked edible when I was a kid. 
So snake strawberries. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Sumimasen. Wow, look at the old uh, roof. Noka. Uh, uh, culture. A uh, farmer. Farmer. Farmer use here. Maybe like a farmer's shed to store his tools. Ah, oh, there's many boxes inside. Let me see. I can turn the night light on. There's the night shot. You can see that. Oh yes, many old boxes. Look at that. Maybe for um, uh, mikan, do you think? For maybe for oranges. This may not be used any longer, although it may still. Takenoko, hi, uh, bamboo shoots. Bam hi, hi, hi. Yes, maybe for bamboo shoots. Very nice. The old uh, mud walls here. Let's turn the night shot vision off. You can see these, uh, these walls are uh, made of uh, mud. This is a mud type of a plaster on uh, uh, mud applied there over bamboo slats on the inside. And then there's a plaster covering that. It was a lot of work to make this originally. <laughs> yeah, an empty mind. Concentration. Yes, that's a very nice name. Yes, yes, it does. I, I, a priest who practicing zazen. What number is this stone? Sixteen. Number twenty-five is the bat stone. This is the going around stone. And indeed, we are going around the stone. There's a large stock of bamboo, uh, dead stock, right here by the uh, trail. And you can see the people have uh, carved messages into the uh, bamboo in Japanese using kanji, hiragana, and katakana messages. Perhaps to other travelers or just Kilroy was here. I just looked down and happened to see this animal, which you can just barely see right there. It's moving along. Now this is a, a giant, uh, form of leech that lives here in the mountains of Japan and it doesn't feed on, oh, you can see it moving quickly now, it doesn't feed on uh, blood as normal leech, as leeches are normally thought to but instead it feeds on worms. And this is actually a rather small specimen. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the leaves so we can take a look at the animal. There it is. Mm -hmm. oh, it I moves qu quickly, <laughs> it moves very quickly. Look how fast it goes. <laughs> Look how fast, hi, hi, hi. very fast. What do you see, Mr. Futami? A beautiful view? Hi, so beautiful sight. Yes, oh my goodness. This is your home, ne? Yes. This particular pass was used as a hideout in the 12th century by warriors who were um, uh, fleeing uh, persecution after their lord was uh, um, was killed, and uh, he was being chased by uh, their enemies, and they created a settlement on top of this mountain here, and they used this particular pass right here <clears throat> as a lookout for pursuers. You know me, Jizo, um, and that means uh, the Jizo, which is watching Mount Fuji, and uh, you can see the Jizo statue there. It has some offerings of uh, canned coffee. And we can assume that the uh, vista before the Jizo here gazes out over Mount Fuji, although the uh, foliage and the clouds certainly make it impossible to see. It's them. interesting how <clears throat> the term Big Rishi is a play on words, meaning both large stone and surprise. The surprise being that you might be surprised to see such a large stone at the top of a mountain like this. So desuか? これ big rishi desuか? 